team of people that have been working on this for a number of years. Currently, we have about 35,000 hectares of Pregardus desmanthus planted, and then it's made up of um, five main cultivars, JCU 1, 2, 5. Um, the legumes sown mostly in Queensland, but uh, also a little bit in uh, northern New South Wales and into the Northern Territory. The soil types that we focus on are the vertisols or related ones, and um, in fairly semi arid environments. The, those cultivars, JCU 1 to 5, have been selected from old uh, trial, trial sites, so they're um, well and truly tested in the environment. Uh, we're working on another a few other aspects too. We've got uh, a number of new cultivars of uh, Desmanthus being developed, JCU 6 to 9, and we're also uh, looking at a few other species, Stylos, Butterfly Pea, and um, the like. We also have a breeding program where we're crossing um, um, Desmanthus species, and uh, that work is quite well advanced and should develop some quite interesting new types of um, legumes. Uh, we're looking also at a number of uh, different methods of getting Desmanthus um, um, established, so there's traditional cultivation, aerial seeding, use of fire, use of fecal seeding, and the use of herbicides to help get established. There's also a lot of uh, work going on with um, in vitro and in vivo anti-methanogenic properties of Progardus and um, with promising results and the next speaker, Benedict, will tell you about that. Uh, recently, the New South Wales um, DPI had, did some nice work which showed um, one of our cultivars, JCU2, was performing very well in, down in training in um, New South Wales where they showed it had very good um, herbage biomass, had great rooting depth and uh, very good water use efficiency. Uh, a few other things we're working on too, um, um, particularly rhizobia. We've um, been collecting some rhizobia and uh, have found a number of different isolates that are better than the commercial strain. And uh, we expect if these carry forward um, that they'll help uh, enhance the yield of the desman first. They'll be resilient to abiotic stresses and adaptive factors. And uh, finally, we're, of course, we're looking at the nutritive values of Pregardus. We're looking at the soil, where it's growing, where it's not growing. We're looking at the botanical composition of paddocks with and without Pregardus, and all of that's to do really with animal production and steer lightweight, live weight gain. Thank you.